it's me it's Liz from Old Stables Crafts how are you today now normally on a Saturday I would do simple stamping Saturday but you know come on last weekend I was at on stage so I thought maybe possibly you'd like to see some of the things I got I'm not doing swag today and I'm not doing swaps today they'll come I thought I would do stuff we were given as in product and my pre-orders because I've done two. So that's what I'm planning for today. So let me flip the camera down if I can find my mouse. There we are. So let me start with stuff that we were given during the event. Um, actually, I'm going to take that out of the way for the moment. Um, I registered for a an event on the Thursday evening. Ooh, let's give that a bit more light. Um, which was it was a pay to play so you it wasn't part of the main event oh and one of the other things i got while i was there was a cough as if having had a cough recently wasn't enough so i have got a drink so i will have to take sips every now and again including now i did say every now and again mm. Mm -mm -mm. coconut and pineapple and it's yummy um Anyway, so pay to play. So you could choose one of three bundles. I chose the Citrus Blooms, uh, which is red rubber. Um, ooh, I didn't stick the label on that one. That was silly. Anyway, there should have been a label on that one, which says just checking in. Never mind. Uh, so we got our bundle. You can see I haven't used it because um, we didn't actually have a dye machine. So we didn't have a cut and boss to use, so I have no idea what's in here. So let's have a look. So, oh, oh, this is actually two dies. No, it's not. It's three. So you can do a frame, you can do a centerpiece, or you can do a smaller frame. Oh, stunning. Um, then there are dies for the two main stamped images and the flowers and separate leaves, separate flowers. So lots and lots of lovely dyes. That one is, oh, stunning. Um, oh, let's put it back properly, shall we? So that, then we also got um, a pack of the Baker's Twine Essentials, a pack of the new 2024-2026 in colour shimmer gems, which are in, I think, all the colours. After Hours, that's what it was called. Yes, all the colours. So Pop, Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, Sh Shy Shamrock, Seaside Splash and Peach Pie, I think. I think. You can test me later. Uh, we also got this lovely After Hours um, project pack. I say pack. Um, leaflet. Flyer. So it told us, depending on whether we had the citrus bloom or the country flowers, which was one of the others, or the spotlight on nature, um, how to do each of the projects. So there are sketches sketches are going to become a big thing in the annual catalogue there's lots and lots of sketches so sketches are going to be a really big big thing all the measurements in either metric or north american cardstock so that was good and then we also got a pack and i haven't opened it yet because it's easier to do these things or well, to not open them at the event <laughs> our our um Demonstrator Development Manager, uh, when she came around to see how we were getting on, she said, ah, oh, you're doing a take and make. I said, yes, I'm not crafting, I'm chatting, I'm going and seeing other people and generally having a social. So these are the new ink colours. So Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, no, Pretty in Pink, Seaside Splash, Petunia Pop and Shy Shamrock. Um, I have done on my Instagram um, a comparison between these colours and other colours we have had or have. 
Um, so you can have a look at that. And at some point, I will do a comparison between other colours as well. I mean, a, a, a lo live comparison. So that's that. We also got other papers and card. So, but stuff we've already got. Now, I was then lucky enough in Prize Patrol to win the paper that matches my bundle. So it's the Mediterranean Blooms. Again, I have not yet opened it. I have seen it um, and I'm told that it looks fairly Delft-like, which is appropriate as we were in the Netherlands. Um, but I love it. So... We have, so the colours are Balmy Blue, Boho Blue, Cajun Craze, Daffodil Delight, Early Espresso, Garden Green, Lemon Lolly, Knight of Navy, Old Olive, Peach Pie and Pumpkin Pie. So all the blues on the backgrounds and then lots of oranges, lemons, floral background. Uh, more lemons with flowers and then this one which is oranges lemons and flowers I don't know if any of the images are die cuttable they'll be fussy cuttable obviously so that was after hours so that was the Thursday so let me tidy those away she says hopefully excuse me <coughs> <coughs> happy days over one cough and I get another one. Never mind if one must fly. Um, all attendee prize patrol was the leaf collection, which is a very large, it's one of our big background stamps. S lots of lovely things to do with that. And we also got a new kit. I took away the box, as in didn't bring the box, because frankly, packing a box was going to be too much in my luggage. But this is called the Hooray for Honeycomb kit. And these are little honeycombs. I will be doing a make it with me at some point soon. <coughs> I apologise because it sounds worse than it is. Um, I've just got a tickle at the moment. I've been fine for ages. I even went to the gym this morning. So let me open this up. I literally have not opened it. Now, there was one item that the coding was wrong, so I haven't got it yet. I should get it early next week, and that's the new in colour inks. Um, but let's have a look at what we've got here. Yeah. So, did I really order all of those? Oh, yes, I did. So, those are for my customers. These are, these are customer gifts. That's why I ordered them. They're customer gifts for anyone who shops with me this month. And they're from the mini catalogue. Uh, right, so let's get all of this out. There is also some stuff in here for a customer. In fact, this isn't my pre-order. It's not the one I was expecting. Okay, so let's let's pop that all back because it's not what I was expecting. Um, as in, it's not what I was anticipating this to be. So let's pop all that away. That was one I had to put in an order I put in before I went. The one, I, the box I want is this one here. Oh, gotta love it. Um, right. Okay, so let me bring everything out and then. I will show it all to you. Ink pad. Ink pad. Right. There is another box. Another box to open as well because I've decided to put in two free orders. Um, so, obviously, lots of foil. Let's let's do the foil first because it's kind of blinding. So we've got textured metallic paper. So it's textured and it's metallic. Uh, we've got, look at this, gorgeous. So it's got a sort of wood grain on it in gold, pewter and copper, I'm thinking. Do they actually say what the colours are? They do. 
bright copper, gold and tungsten. Okay, I'll take tungsten. So that's that. Very, very, very bright. Uh, then let's talking about bright. This is labelless but it's the new in colour glitter paper which is gorgeous and it's it's kind of coated so we've got seaside splash shy shamrock pretty in pink petunia pop and peach pie but look at that lovely glittery shine it's actually brighter in person than it is on camera, honestly. Let's pop this back in its bag so I don't damage it and then I know where it is. So that's that. I also ordered, and this actually goes with um, a stamp set that arrived this afternoon. This arrived yesterday, I want to say. So this is Country Woods Designer Series Paper which was a prize patrol for some people. I didn't get it and I'd already ordered it, so I was quite pleased I didn't get it. Excuse me, coughing. <coughs> so, lots and lots of lovely wood backgrounds. I am a scrapbooker. This is right up my street for scrapbooking. I love wood grain of any and every description. We used to have a really big pack of wood grain. This is not the same, but it's gorgeous. The colours in this are basic beige, yes, basic beige, basic grey, crumb cake, early espresso, grey granite, misty moonlight, pecan pie, petal pink, pool party, smoky slate and wild wheat. And it is to die for. So that's that. Whilst we're on the subject of basic beige, basic beige cardstock. Now, I thought it might be like Sahara Sand. Have I got any Sahara Sand left? I think I have. No, that's not it. No, I think it's gone. I think I'm Sahara Sandless. Anyway, I had thought it was going to be like Sahara Sand. It's not. It's actually really quite, quite nice. Oh, sorry, I've got a, I've got a thing that's come up. Uh... <laughs> it's a it's a thing that's saying I need to do a restart and the options are in 15 minutes in an hour tomorrow next century um I think I'll do in an hour it's fine um anyway so yes this is basic beige which I think you can see without me opening it it is really quite a pretty color I wouldn't call it beige I don't know what I would call it it's like a dark cream but not like vanilla so it's like a I think the vanilla is a warm cream and I think this is a cooler cream. Does that make sense? So this is the ink pad. Let's see if I can find a stamp somewhere on my desk that is the right sort of size. Wait one moment. Uh, that'll do. That'll do. So this is trusty tools. I can use a handle. Because I just want to see what what the colour is when it's stamped. Now, a friend of mine did do a swipe on white card and it came out kind of green. So let's stamp it. And it is kind of green. So I'm going to leave that for a bit and see how it calms down because these things do calm down obviously I need to put my labels on but that's basic beige cardstock <clears throat> so don't need trusty tools at the moment okay so let me grab another piece of white because we have got blends <coughs> sorry I don't feel bad. Let me just say, I sound a lot worse than I am. So, Dark Petunia Pop. Light Petunia Pop. Obviously, they've got to 
dry. Peach pie. Dark. Ooh, that's quite nice because we're we we're not really <clears throat> because we lost mango melody. We are short of a kind of pale orange, so that might well fill that gap. This is pretty in pink. Now in pink. Now some of you may remember pretty in pink from way back, and I gather it is the same. Um, but obviously we've got new products like lens. So dark and light. Summer summer splash, not seaside splash. Oh, mm. uh, dark. Now, when I do my colour comparison, I will be comparing this to Bermuda Bay because I'm, I think it's close. It's not quite the same. <coughs> <coughs> and this is Shy Shamrock. Um, and again, I'm thinking it's quite close to Emerald Envy. Or possibly Call Me Clover. So those are the blends. Let's have another look at this. This is definitely darker than the card, but it's not as green once it's dried. So that's the blends. Let's get rid of all that packaging. Gotta hate plastic packaging. Uh, these are the dots. I got two packs because I could. <clears throat> so these are called resin dots where the other ones were shimmer. So that's those. And then I have got Under the Moon, <coughs> which is photopolymer. Um, I saw some really lovely samples using that, so that should be good. Um, then we have got, now I mentioned that I am a scrapbooker. We've got four different sorts of ephemera. Um, I think I've got some in the other pack. This is Saying Something Ephemera which I think probably needs to live, I think all the ephemera needs to live in a stamp case. It will fit. So these are pre-done pre things. Like, I'm so proud of you, you make a difference in my, oh, thank you for making a difference in my life. Let's see what we've got. Assuming I can get it out, because I think there are repeats of some of these. Ooh. So we have got two of each of these, two of these, which are good luck today, hip hip hooray, celebrate, congrats, oh hey, wishes and birthday. Um, two of these, two of these, beautiful, thanks, ahoy. Howdy, hey, hello, happy, love you, friend, for you. Yeah. So two sheets of each of four sets of ephemera wording, which is always good. So if you have people who like the idea of crafting, but not so much the idea of stamping, this could be for them. See if I can get it in without ruining it. This is where I say stamp case. Definitely needs stamp case. Um, labels and layers. And it is, again, pretty much what it says on the label. Eight sheets again. I don't think I'll take it all out because it is quite tricky to get back. But I'm thinking two of each. Yeah, and it is labels and layers. So that's that. Um, right, let's, 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 right. Hearts and Hugs, very not me, but I loved it. And we saw, and I'd ordered it before we saw it. This is Red Rubber. Uh, we saw this little chap being used a lot in a demonstration and it was so cute. So it's thanks, sending a big hug. So it's there when, so, sorry, sending a big hug. So it's there when you need, when you need it. 
that was what got me to order it. Um, I could just hug you and sending birthday wish, birthday hugs. So we've got Warus mouse with a heart, badgers and a hamster, little hearts. And the dies are, we've got this lovely circle or semi quarter circle. There's some hearts. Uh, there's flowers that you can put together. A label, always useful. So each of the animals, there's a die for, there isn't a die for the hearts, but there is a die for hearts. In fact, there's lots of dies for hearts. So that's hearts and hugs. Right, under the moon we've done. So attention shoppers, my dear friend Michaela Tithridge, who is one of the artisan design team, did an amazing presentation using this. Um, I had already ordered it because I thought it was fun. Oh boy, did she make it fun. So the die for the shopping cart, or dies for the shopping cart, do not die cut the shopping cart, it's a standalone shopping cart, but these are, you've got die cuts for. So shopping is always a good idea. Happy birthday, thanks, just for you, and treat yourself. And she did a lovely um, um, trolley full of bottles of well, bottles, and then returning it to the recycling point with them all upside down and all over the place. It was great fun. Right, Unbounded Love, I've got the dies, and I think I've got the stamp set in the other box, so we'll come back to that. This is So Swirly Embossing Folder. Now, this is what I call an embossing folder. It's huge! So that's a six by six embossing folder. And, 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 let me find the one. No, not you. Sorry, not you. You'll do, no, no not you. Uh, come along. I'll do, oh, come on, come out. It's very shy. It's feeling, it's feeling put upon, because look at the difference in size. So this is a standard embossing folder. This is a six by six embossing folder. And this is what we've now got. They are, I want to say six by eight. I hadn't realized they were so much bigger. Uh, six by eight and a half if you literally go from top to bottom. So six by eight and a half inches. Um, so that's brilliant. So that's that. So let me pop those over there and get my other box, which arrived earlier this afternoon. And again, I haven't had a chance to open it yet. Can't actually remember what's in here. I know there's some ribbon in here. Uh, that's about all I can remember. So let's have a look. Here's the packaging. Oh yes. Oh yes. So. So, 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 so. Right. So, on the subject of ribbon, this is some of the new, oh no, I didn't get the Unbounded Love stamp set, so I will show you the dies in a moment. So this is the new in colour ribbon. I only got the Petunia Pop and the Beige. Um, budgets do have to, you know, be looked at a little. So this is, oh, it's so soft. Um, I know one of my team was hoping it would be a nice, f soft, easy, small bow, and I'm delighted to say it is. So the current, or soon to be old, but not old, if you know what I mean, so the Boho Blue, Pebble Path, etc, etc. That ribbon was quite chunky. It was great if you just wanted to wrap it around a card. Not so great for a bow. This will do both. Both. So that's Petunia Pop, and this is the beige, basic beige. 
So that's the basic beige. So if I bring that stamped back, it's very close. Very, very close. So that's the ribbon. That's the ribbon. And... Oh, now that's odd. I thought... I think there's something missing. So I'll have to check that. I ord I thought I ordered the paper that goes with this, which is Thoughtful Journey. So this is the Thoughtful Journey Memories and More. So it would have looked, made more sense if I'd had the paper too. I will be checking that because if it's not there, um, I know that they will send it to me. So that's assuming I had ordered it and hadn't dithered and stuff. Um, so we've got uh, 28 cards, two of each, which is less overwhelming than we used to have. They were, the packs were huge. So thinking of you today, the paper is very much like this. So it's sort of backgroundy treasured memories, uh, making memories and happy birthday. So that's those. And then we've got the smaller ones, got more of these. So sending all my love. So this is a very good idea of what the paper's like. The paper is six by six. And life is an adventure. The sky is the limit. That's a number, not a no. Celebrate another year. These are like thistles. Label with that on the back. Thanks so very much. More thistly sort of things, lines on the back, and celebrate today and these lovely stripes. So that's that. As I say, I thought I had ordered the paper as well, so I will be checking. And if I need to, I will contact our support team. So that's that. Dyes, Layering Beauty Decorative Masks, uh, which go with this stamp set so the masks make this um, they are numbered and I saw some stunning samples again this was a presentation so you've got they are numbered up here and they've got that little notch so those are the flowers and then these are the leaves and there are five in total so two for the two for the leaves and five for the flowers. And this is happy anniversary. You make my heart smile. Grateful for you and God bless. And some little filigree bits. So that's photopolymer with matching dies. Lots and lots of lovely dies. Are they the ones that match? Flowers of beauty. No, that goes with these. Uh, layers of beauty. It's wonderful when you get everything muddled up, isn't it? <sighs> I do need to empty my bins. I've been very lazy. So layers of beauty, that looks better. So you can do all the different bits. So you can die cut just this flower, the whole thing. It's beautiful. Little label, really lovely die set to go with a stamp set and masks. I saw a sample that was in Pebble Path. Stunning. Right, so flowers of beauty as we've got the dies. So we've got these small and larger flowers, which you can do as a, in lines, um, in stripes, stunning. These obviously are standalone. Then we've got this and these 
and this, and these, and these. So lots of lovely dies. Ten dies. Wonderful. So that's that. Then the country birdhouse is what goes with the wood paper. So we've got photopolymer, it's a little bird, birdhouse, um, hoping you have the best day ever, happy birthday, hello friend, and lots of little dies, which is always fun. And then you can make the birdhouse of your dreams. Um, so really, really pretty. Again, I saw some very, very, very good samples using that. Uh, and then the Unbounded Love dies, which as they do go with a stamp set, but we'll find out why I didn't order it. Or why I ordered the dies without... I know I didn't. Labels, that's why, because these will stand on their own. That's why. So yes, lots of lovely labels. So there you are. That is my pre-order. Have got the ink pads to come. They should arrive early next week. And I will do an investigation into that paper that I thought I'd ordered. So I hope you found that fun. Lots of things to look forward to. Sorry, I'm trying to find where my cursor is. There we are. Um, so thank you very much for joining me. Not the same as a normal Saturday. I will do swaps and I will do swag um, as separate videos coming soon. Bye for now. <laughs>